everybody welcome back and today i'm going to be doing my smackdown review for march 3rd 2023 let's get into the video so we kick out the show with the bloodline roman reigns jimmy uso charles Cole, and paul Heyman. they were trying to talk but they didn't get to say anything because the american nightmare cody rhodes came out and uh well cody said can we talk face-to-face, -face or do you need your little men? So, Roman sent Jimmy Uso, Solo, and, and uh, Paul Heyman out. And Roman and Cody Rhodes are just going back and forth, back and forth, really. And then he said, I need, it's a necessity to beat you at WrestleMania, Cody said. So, that's basically all that happened. Basically, just going back and forth. Nothing really happened. But it was a great promo against each other to start off the show. Then we had Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan. I mean, it was a match. Uh... Of course, Rhea Ripley won, but what I thought was notable is that at the end, a girl in the crowd was crying because Liv lost. Like, you really thought Liv Morgan was going to win? Then, because of what happened last week, and they had a little backstage uh, back and forth, we had Santos Escobar versus Dominic Mysterio. And it was a good match. It was a good match. At the end, Dominic put out brass knuckles, and referee was like, hey, hey, hey. Then, Rhea Ripley hit a rip tie onto Santos Escobar on the outside, Dominic Mysterio splash, one, two, three, and of course, Dominic won match. Dominic beat Santos. Then, because uh, Ray gave Santos a mask, like, a, a couple weeks ago, Dominic was destroying the mask, uh, and he was leaving. And in the uh, stage, uh, I'll take Santos out of here. On the stage, we had Ray Mysterio. He was like, give me no ass, give me no ass. And Dominic was like, hit me, hit me. And of course, Ray did not hit him. And Dominic just shoved him, and Dominic and, Dominic and Rhea left. It's definitely going to be Dominic and Ray at WrestleMania, in my opinion. So then Drew McIntyre comes out. And of course, because of what happened last week, he wants to face Gunter. Oh, uh, but you know, Sheamus came out in this exact attire. Except uh, he wore actual pants. That's why I used this. Uh, he gets cut over. And then L.A. Knight. Yeah. He came out. They were all talking. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus are going face to face because they're like, I thought you were my brother. And then out came the New Day. Talking the LA Knight. It's the New Day. But that's not it because out came. I don't know where. Oh, here he is. Out came the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. And then when Karen Cross was even in the ring, uh, LA Knight attacked both New Day members. And, well, LA Knight and both New Day members got sent out. Then Drew McIntyre went flying over the top rope, taking out the New Day. Then Karrion Cross took out Sheamus. And, uh, well, Karrion Cross was standing tall out of this whole situation. Karrion Cross was standing tall. And the reason for this is because next week we're going to have a fatal five-way between Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, LA Knight, Kofi Kingston, and Karrion Cross. Not Xavier Woods. I don't know why they want to have a six-way. Uh, and it's a qualifier match. I don't know what that really means for the Intercontinental Championship, but we'll see. So we are supposed to see Shayna, Ray Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey versus Tegan Knox and Natalia, but there was a backstage brawl and Ronda Rousey got hurt. Uh, so it was Tegan Knox with Shane Baszler. Shane Baszler won pretty straightforward. Then, uh, Michael Cole and, uh, Wade Bear were talking. Then we heard Ben Bidabin. From out of nowhere, Bobby Lashley came out. And he said, if Bray Wyatt has the balls, basically, he'll come out. But he didn't come out. A sneak attack from Uncle Howdy. And, you know, I'm just gonna show Bo Dallas. I'm just gonna show Bo Dallas. Because I think we all know that Bo Dallas is Uncle Howdy. I think so, at least. And Uncle Howdy came, attacked him, but then by gosh, she hit him with a spine buster, he's about to hit him with a spear, but then lights went out and he disappeared. Uh, that's really it. There's not, not much to say. Then in the backstage, Roman says if Jay doesn't come to SmackDown next week and be a part of the bloodline, he's not going to blame Sammy, he's going to blame Jimmy. So I wonder if that's going to happen. And in the main event, it was Sammy Zayn taking on Solo Sokoa. They were advertising the match throughout the whole show. And, well, it was a good match. It was a great main event. But, uh, Sammy Zayn was going for a looper kick. Jimmy Uso, um, I forgot what he did, but he did some. Because Jimmy Uso was with Solo. And, uh, then Solo, ah, Samoan Spike, one, two, three. And Solo Sokoa gets the win. 
But of course they weren't done. They were beating down Sammy. Then Solo was gonna go for that little um, chair spot that he does in the quarter, but Jimmy was like, "No, I want to do it." But then Sammy got out of it. Haluba kicked the Jimmy, and uh, he was about to hit Jimmy for chair, but then Sammy dipped, and Solo Sokoa was after Sammy, and that's how SmackDown ended. That's basically how it ended last week. So I it's still confusing i really don't know what's gonna happen at wrestlemania but that was my smackdown review if you guys want to enjoy make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you in the next one see you